Today, people are coming together to honor the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas gives us an inside look at the annual student art contest in honor of MLK Day and East Charlesburg University. I have a dream 60 years later. The theme of this year's Juliana V. Bolt art contest. The annual competition held in Monroe County showcases high school artists' interpretations of Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and work, creating artwork of all kinds, such as cardboard. It was like to symbolize how Martin Luther King started off with something simple like a piece of cardboard. He had a dream that he like turned into something beautiful, so I was trying to make the cardboard into something beautiful for people to remember and even charred paper. I first planned it in my art class and the next class I just started drawing and when I got home I soaked it in coffee and I lit it on fire. The contest is named after Wayne Bolt's late wife Juliana, who he says was very quiet and laid back, but would be amazed at the succession of the program. But I know if she were to see the students that have gone through this art contest, she would, as a matter of fact, she's probably smiling now to see what the, her contest has done. This is the first year the contest is taking place at East Stroudsburg University, all on display for the public to admire. And there's such variety as well, and talent, of course. Um, I think it's just, you know, knowing that they're going to have these full creative lives. Out of all 55 pieces submitted, Sharon Mejia took home the first place prize. Her hand-drawn portrait displays the message, was my dream just a dream, a tie to today's modern society. We've already made so much progress, like I'm in our schools, for example, we're already so, we have so much diversity when you look around, we have all different types of races and stuff, and I feel he would be really happy with that, but we still have more to do. In East Stroudsburg, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News. And the art collection will be on display for the public to see free of charge at East Stroudsburg University's gallery through January 26th.